Hi, I'm Keith Thompson. I'm a system engineer here at Burke Porter Machinery in Grand Rapids, Michigan. It used to be that most people were concerned about whether or not their vehicles would last for 100,000 miles. Today, all vehicles are capable of this, and it's expected. Now buyers are making their decision based on how a vehicle sounds or feels. When the first few minutes of a test drive, most purchasers will have made up their mind on the quality of the vehicle. Because of this, the automotive industry is constantly improving and changing the sound characteristics of their vehicles. This study of noise, vibration, and harshness is commonly referred to as MVH testing and engineering. This research is often done in a semi-anechoic test chamber designed to eliminate or reduce all surrounding noise and vibration sources, as well as any sound reflective surfaces in the test chamber. In order to test the vehicle's entire drivetrain, including wheels, axles, transmission, and engine, the vehicle is often driven on a chassis dimometer designed specifically for NVH testing. At Burke Porter, we have designed and built numerous MVH chassis dynamometers for a wide range of vehicles, from motorcycles to large Class 8 semi-trucks. Today I will be going over the features and characteristics that you can expect to find in a well-designed MVH chassis dynamometer. The main subject that we will be covering are roll design, roll bearings, frame stiffness, seismic inertia mass, sound barriers, shaft stiffness, hydraulic pumps, motor cooling, and peripherals. Roll design. The rolls are engineered to be extremely stiff so they cannot be excited by the vehicle tire tread pattern during rotation. They are also treated with a dual layer spring mass damping system with a viscoelastic coating that significantly damps the noise and ringing of the roll surfaces. Optional resin replica roll shells are available to simulate any road condition. When the road shells are not installed, the holes must be plugged to further reduce whistling. Roll bearings. Either hydrostatic bearings or high precision roller bearings can be used on NVH dynamometers. Some customers prefer hydrostatic bearings since they isolate the roll vibration from the machine frame and completely eliminate all bearing rotational noises. However, since a high precision roll bearing are capable of meeting the noise specification of most MVH chambers, it may be better to avoid the added complexity, maintenance, and cost of the hydrostatic solution. Frame stiffness. Frame stiffness is also very important. This low profile steel frame is very rigid. This eliminates the natural frequencies of the frame that could coincide with the operational speeds of the dynamometer. The frames also have sealed ports that allow us to fill the cavities with a damping material such as dry sand after installation. This will achieve an even greater mass and higher damping coefficient. This dyno is a four wheel drive MVH dynamometer. Therefore one of the axles must be movable to allow for various vehicle sizes. For our MVH dynamometers, we use a special wheelbase track and dual brake system that rigidly couples the movable components to the lower frame after positioning the roll system. This feature increases the stiffness and rigidity of the movable frame. This also protects the hydraulic bearings from a potential failure that could be caused by a shifting or unstable wheelbase. Seismic inertia masses. The motors and rolls are mounted to a seismic inertia mass that is at least 10 times the weight of the machine. This concrete mass is also isolated from the building foundation on a damp spring mass system. This will keep external noise from transferring into the test chamber via the building walls and floor. Sound barriers. The motors and shaft will be surrounded by a sound absorbing enclosure or sound house designed to restrict the motor noise from entering the test chamber. A long shaft is used to connect the motors to the rolls through a sound absorbing tunnel. The effective length of the tunnel must be one quarter the length of the sound wave that needs to be attenuated. Shaft stiffness. The stiffness of the roll shaft is very important. At a minimum, the rotational stiffness of the system should be at least 70% higher than the first order fundamental frequency of the dynamometer's maximum speed of rotation. For our MVH dynamometers, we typically achieve two to three times this required stiffness. On this machine, the top speed of the dynamometer is 250 km per hour, which occurs at 700 RPMs. We use large oversized couplings and shafts that put our first order fundamental frequency over 36 hertz. Hydraulic pumps. The hydraulic pump will apply 3,000 pounds of pressure to the hydrostatic bearing to lift the roll shaft before rotation can begin. This hydraulic pump system was also engineered specifically for NVH testing. The pumps and motors are mounted to an isolated inertia base. The pumps are submerged in the hydraulic tank to reduce noise. Low speed motors are used for running all pumps. The size and shape was designed to limit surfaces that could generate or amplify the pump noises. All hose and tube connections are flexible to isolate the dynamometer from structure-borne vibrations caused by the pumps. 
and accumulators used for backup pressure in case of building power loss. This will provide over one minute of backup flow to the hydrostatic lift ports that will allow the emergency braking system to bring the rolls down to a safe stop condition. Motor cooling. Either water-cooled or air-cooled motors can be used for NVH testing. If an air-cooled system is used, it must be designed to reduce the noise and vibration that is generated by the blowers, air ducts, and motors. The blowers must be decoupled from the chamber with an isolated base. Rubber couplings are used for connections to the ducts to reduce vibration. Silencers are mounted on the inlet and outlet of the blower unit to reduce the noise level of the blowers. Peripherals. The underside of the movable floor planks have a non-reflective foam coating. This also eliminates the air gaps between the planks. The floor deck plate has an anti-reflective bed liner surface that has been designed to minimize air gaps and keep any high frequency noises under the floor. The restraint systems and posts have rounded surfaces to reduce sound reflections. An adjustable nit plate will be used to adjust the air gap between the rolls and the deck plate. This will significantly reduce the noises generated by air flowing around the rolls when rotating at higher speeds. The roll brake used to stop the dynamometer during emergency must be a non-contact device that will not cause any interference or dragging during operation. As you can see, there are many aspects of the dynamometer system that must be engineered specifically for NVH testing in order to achieve the low sound levels required for you to meet your NVH testing goals. At Burke Porter, we have reviewed and engineered all aspects of the dynamometer system in order to provide the best product in the NVH dynamometer industry.